So if you have realized that the wave function doesn't collapse and that therefore quantum immortality is true, what should you do about it? A good idea might be to sign up for cryonics. So if you sign up for cryonics, what's going to happen in your last moment, and by last, I don't actually mean like, you know, past this point, you were like some journeyer, and past this point there is just oblivion, and you get dropped, and then there's like no existence over here. That's not what we mean by last moment. What we mean by last moment, from a physical perspective, in which consciousness just exists from where it exists anyway, uh, and therefore there is no last moment, um, we just mean those moments which perhaps happen in your deathbed. So you're in your deathbed. In other words, extreme levels of degradation of what is going on in your mind. Say you have Alzheimer's disease. You're barely appropriating the past. You're barely even appropriating your present uh, sensations. And, and by present, I mean all experience you could view as a generation of a memory. All experience is like that. The present is a generation of a memory. Um, but once you have sufficient degradation, it's like if you know, you're not even bothering to appropriate most of it at all. Not even your immediate sense impressions, not most of what you're seeing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So at some point, it may be like your very last tenuous sort of smoggy experience, whatever that is. And then after that, what happens? Well, there are two possibilities. In one possibility, you have chosen cryonics. Cryonics. In the other one, you have chosen no cryonics. In other words, you have chosen quantum immortality. The reason you have chosen quantum immortality, it, it, again, is because you can't actually choose eternal non-existence. Because consciousness is not like some soul stuff which is flowing through the machinery. It's just embodied in the physics itself. So therefore, you can't actually be non-experienced. Uh, so in a cryonic situation, what's going to happen is you're just going to have a whole bunch of causal... Um, continuities in the same way that you have ca causal continuity with some eight-year-old, you have some causal continuity which is non-trivial with whoever um, went to sleep last night, right? So that's in the sense in which causal continuity um, is relevant. It's not relevant in the sense of pushing your consciousness in one direction or another. Uh, because again, consciousness just exists from the location where it exists. That's just a basic anthropic physicalist assumption. So, so yeah, if you do cryonics, the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to have a lot more of your likeness, a lot more of future mind states that believe themselves to have come from you or feel themselves to have come from you if you prefer the word feel. You know, in the same way that you feel like whatever uh, sensation happened, uh, you know, some tingling in your leg like two seconds ago happened to you as opposed to just happened to no one. In that same sense, you know, if you do cryonics, you're, that sense of continuity is going to continue to a larger measure than in a non-cryonic situation. In a non-cryonic situation, it, increasing degradation is going to happen because the regions of the wave function where you do have a sort of meaningful continuity of self are increasingly improbable. They're increasingly improbable, and so you're diluting this to the point where it's like, you know, it was just as many, and then it's just smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller each time of whatever it is that feels itself to have come from you. Um, again, because it's just increasingly improbable. I mean, how many times are you just going to keep surviving at all odds? And therefore, the vast majority of your um, causal continuities are going to involve more and more degradation. 
to the point where you're so degraded that there is, there is nothing that even bears resemblance to anything in its past. So in the same way that Alzheimer's is already pretty degraded, just imagine that degradation continuing to the point that you're so simple that um, you become identical to a whole bunch of other complications. You become indistinguishable in any way. You, you have lost entirely your sense of individuality. So we all carry high specificity at most moments. So in my present right here, right, I contain so much specificity. I am looking at this bike. It has certain colors. Um, it's my entire visual field is highly unique. So there's like high specificity right now, high specificity. Whereas low specificity is widely shared across the multiverse, of, which contains a whole bunch of minds everywhere at all levels. You know, level one multiverse, level two, level three. Um, and if the level four, which is more speculative, also, you know, contains other consciousnesses, then, it, you know, there's just so many possible mind states, which are like writing right here, right? And like in high specificity, but as you get to lower specificity, you have more, more uh, mind states exist over here. So this is large. This contains a large infinity, and th this contains smaller and smaller infinities. This is like more exploratory in the sum being. So like I was saying, I'm looking at very particular colors. I'm feeling very particular sensations um, and, and have a very particular sense of self. I can have unique thoughts. You know, humans can invent thoughts that were never thought of before. And that's all adding to this high specificity of content. Whereas the more you go in this direction, the more you drop into low specificity because your computational complexity is being degraded. And we don't know if low specificity experiences are blissful or if they are painful or if they are whatever they are, whatever is the like simplest possible experience that could be an experience, because again, you can't be non-experienced, whatever that is, um, we don't actually know its nature, but it, it, it will have n no relation to any of this high specificity stuff. It won't remember anything that's going on here anyway. So that's really your two choices uh, to consider.